Hi everybody, Susan Davis here. Um, today I'm going to make a um, tasty potato dish called Lyonnaise potatoes, uh, quite often known as sodded potatoes, but um, with the addition of some thinly sliced like onions um, and parsley. So what we need is uh, we need some um, potatoes that are boiled and the recipe will actually work much better if you can boil your potatoes the day before and let them become completely cold in the fridge like I did and I always boil my potatoes with their skin on so let's peel them and then we're going to slice them now the health benefit of um, actually chewing your potatoes in the fridge for a day um, helps um, the starch in the potatoes to become something called resistant starch and that can that is quite um, uh, Good for your gut bacteria because um, it it is not a um, broken down and then it becomes a food for your gut flora so that's a great thing to know about potatoes after you cook them if you um, get them cold um, your gut microbiome will benefit from them and it's not likely to um, upset your blood sugar balance too much as well so I am going to just um, peel a few of these boiled potatoes and I'm going to put them in my pan but I'm not going to do all of them because I don't want to overfill the pan and that's important um, to be able to make nice sauteed potatoes okay so, and also if you choose a potato that doesn't fall apart while you're boiling and a potato that you know that is suitable for crispening up while you're frying them um, that will actually help as well so I chose to use a red desire potatoes in this instance because I know um, it will work quite well for this recipe okay there we are so I'll put my potatoes while I'm slicing this I'm just going to heat up my pan with some rapeseed oil I'm not going to put too much oil in the pan just enough so that the potatoes don't stick um, but they can fry at the same time so I'm just like kind of a lightly covered the base of the pan I don't know if you can see it lighting is quite bad probably not um, and now I'm going to cut the potatoes I'll probably move the camera in a minute um, so I can show you the frying process don't want to cut them too thin maybe about a centim or a little bit less like this and we'll add them to the pan once the um, oil is um, hot but not smoking hot I usually try it um, with one potato first let's, let's give it a little try see if it's um, sizzling any better try again a uh, little bit better okay so the pan the oil is starting to warm up and you know it's warm when you put a potato in and start sizzling so it won't stick yeah because you don't want these potatoes to stick to the pan Now I don't want them to burn, so what I'm going to do is just kind of a, turn the heat down to medium. I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. I don't have pepper actually, so I'm just going to use a little bit of salt. And when I turn them around, I'm going to season the other side with um, the salt as well. 
Now what we're going to do is, um, I've got some onions. I'm going to start peeling them and I'll be adding these to the pan once I've flipped them over and they've just um, started to crispen up a bit. Okay, that's one. I'm always keeping my own, my own potatoes, they're colouring nicely. Frying nicely rather. Turn them around in a minute. So I like to coat my uh, onions thinly in slices, thin slices. That way they'll keep, um, um, cook through quickly and got more of a chance of crisping them up, crisping them up as well. So I'm going to be turning these potatoes around in a minute. I just want to take this first one. Yeah, it's got some colour. What I'll do is I'll pause the video so I, you, I can show you the potatoes. Okay, so we're going to turn the potatoes around. I think it works quite well if you can do them one by one. And later on we'll start, um, you know, giving the pan a little a shuffle, a little toss to start moving everything together. I'm just turning them round and I've got the pan close so you can see the crispness that has um, uh, that is happening on the potato which we want. If you've got a bigger pan then you can make a bigger patch but this is the uh, only pan I've got so uh, I'm going to be using this. It's looking really nice already. Season on this side, and at this point, while we're um, browning the other side, I just want to lay my onions on top like this. Put it back on the flame. Let's chop the rest of this onion up. red onions uh, you can use uh, white onions if you like and there we are so now while these are cooking I'm going to chop my parsley let's get roll it in a bowl the sizzling away. I'll just pause the video and then I'll come back to the come back to you in a minute. Alright guys I want to show you take the spin cooking and now I know that they're crispy on the other side. Can you see the colour on the paper hopefully? Okay. So we're gonna give those onions a chance to get in touch with the fat as well. At this point, I want to add some butter to the pan. So, put a little bit of butter in my knife. Okay. Now, this is a dish that actually does um, hold quite a bit of fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a little bit of that um, rapeseed oil into this into um, uh, into a strainer and a sink on top. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter to the dish. It'll actually absorb quite a bit and the butter will give that really nice um, flavour to the potatoes and those onions as they're cooking along. Go a bit more. So obviously this is a fat rich dish, you don't want to eat it every day, but it's a really nice um, potato dish to have in your repertoire. 
uh, for a change um, if you want to serve something special, yeah? So this is going to cook a little bit longer and I'm going to keep um, tossing the, the potatoes and the onions till the onions are starting to caramelise and um, we'll get back to it when I'm ready to put the um, parsley in it. So it's going to cook for a few more minutes and I'm just going to shake the pan so that the potatoes can turn around and everything is going to become caramelised. And so I just want to share with you what stage we're on. I've, I've, I've tossed it, I'm going to toss it one more time so everything is folding over. Obviously, if you're not good at tossing um, your pan, you just do like this. But just kind of a, keep those potatoes moving, but without um, doing it too often. Otherwise, that's when the potatoes start breaking down and we don't really want that. Yeah, these are breaking down a little bit. So we can see the onions are starting to um, caramelise. They're cooked through, but I want to get them just a little bit more um, caramelized, a little bit more closer to these ones here, and they taste really nice. Like that. At this stage, I can put some parsley on it as well, and we're going to cook it for a little bit longer, and then they will be ready for serving. So we let that cook for a few more minutes. potatoes and I like to serve it with some parsley wow that doesn't give bring you back memories from the 70s I don't know what does lovely I'm going to taste it when they're cool oh, so my friends now we need to taste our potatoes it's quite hot still it's got lovely caramelized onions parsley and it's seasoned with salt, but I could put pepper as well. I didn't have any pepper today. Mmm, so tasty. These onions are really delicious. Once you've um, cooked your um, Leonese potatoes, often known as sauté potatoes like this, you'll never ever enjoy um, deep fried sauté potatoes again. so much flavour well I hope you give that a try